So in this video, we're going to show you how to pick up an object and uh, add it to your inventory list. This is our scene. Uh, we have a simple uh, third person and the table and the book. So now we're going to create an empty game object and name it uh, inventory manager. And then we're going to add a bunch of scripts. I'm going to explain each one of them. So now we're going to add the inventory man uh, manager to the game object. Okay, so here we have the interface I interactable, uh, which defines a method uh, interact that we're going to implement. Okay, and here uh, the interactor source is the point from which the interaction is considered, like the player position or the camera. Interact range is the maximum distance which an interaction can happen. And then we have an interactable layer mask. And then the inventory list is to keep track of interactable objects that are added to the list. In the update function, we're checking if we press on the E button. And then we're gonna call the check interact function. Uh, the check interact method uses uh, physics uh, dot overslap sphere where we find colliders uh, within a specific uh, area around the interact source or the main camera of the player and then we iterate through each collider and check if the component uh, has the interactable interface and then uh, we check the distance between the interact source uh, and the collider itself and if it's close enough and like it's not already in the inventory list so we're gonna call the interact method and we're gonna add it to our inventory list Okay, so we're using system to serializable to make the inventory item class uh, serializable. And here we have two public uh, fields, the item name as a string and the quantity as an integer, which represents the number of the item from the same type. In the inventory manager class, we have a public hash set uh, named inventory to store the inventory items. Uh, we're using hash set to ensure unique items uh, in the inventory. Uh, the add item method adds an item to the inventory as you can see uh, if the item with the specified name already exists uh, we increment the quantity otherwise uh, we create a new inventory item and add it to the inventory uh, the has item method checks if the inventory contains an item with a specified name and if its quantity is greater than zero if it's true it means that the item is present in the inventory the book interact script we are uh, implementing the mono behavior and the interactable interface and then we have a public uh, field uh, inventory manager which is an instance of the inventory manager class and then we're using the interact method when it's called uh, we have a debug uh, log and then we're calling the inventory manager add item method and passing the game object name as an item name and then after some time we are destroying the game object so here we have a reference of the inventory manager instance and then we have two uh, arrays we have a raw image arrays and then we have a string array of the item names in the update function uh, we iterate through each element in the interactable images and we're calling the update inventory image method and we're passing the raw image and the item name string in the update inventory image uh, takes the raw image and an item name as a parameter uh, it checks whether the player's inventory uh, contain the specified item. If the player has the item, the image is enabled, otherwise it's disabled. Okay, so now uh, for the book, we're going to add the book interact script. And then we're going to drag and drop the inventory manager. And then we're gonna, going to create a canvas, UI Canva. Inside it, uh, we're going to have a panel. And then inside it, we're going to have uh, a raw image. Okay, so the kind of we're gonna set it to screen size. Um, here, I'm just adjusting uh, the Canva for my preference. Okay, now we're going to drag and drop the sprite uh, book and then let's just disable the raw image now here we're going to add the UI interact manager and then we're going to drag and drop the inventory manager 
and for the images we're gonna drag and drop the raw image that we created and for the name it's gonna be a uh, book which is our uh, interactable uh, object name make sure it's the same name okay and now for the main camera uh, we're gonna add the interactor script as you can see the interactor source is gonna be the main camera and the range is gonna be five or you can choose whatever you want for the layer uh, we're gonna choose interactable layer i created this layer uh, to create a, a new layer uh, you can go down here and then add a layer and name it interactables so for, for the book make sure it has a collider and uh, set the layer to interactables Okay, now let's, let's test out the scene. Here, as you can see, I'm approaching and then pressing on E. And then now I picked up the, uh, uh, the book, as you can see. 